Good morning. Um, something a bit different in here today. Um, it's a Maserati quad report here with an ABS fault. Um, basically what happens with the car is you start the car up and there's no ABS lights on, so I've turned the ignition on. Um, as you can see, ABS lights all go off. Um, ABS light doesn't come on until the actual the car starts moving. It's basically as soon as it starts to turn a wheel, like wheel does one full revolution, the ABS light comes on. So we plugged it in and we've uh, identified that the fault exists because of a right hand front speed sensor and invalid signal. So I'm now going to test the speed sensors and uh, find out what's going wrong. Now I have no idea of what type of wheel speed sensor is fitted to this car. So I'm, what I'm doing, is I'm plugged into the left hand one with a scope. Um, as you can see, I'll get it right. I'm uh, back probing the plug which is behind the the mud guard there um, and we're going to have a look at the, the signal to see what it looks like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel at the same time spin the wheel to see the signal so as you can see there it's basically little spikes all evenly spaced and that's how the ABS unit calculates wheel speed so I'm going to move the scope onto the other side, onto the right hand wheel and have a look and see what the signal looks like from there. Right, I'm on the uh, other side now. So as you can see, as the, I'm going to spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Uh, what's noticeable is the segment's missing. So there's actually, Whereas the other one was evenly spaced. This one isn't, the segment's missing. So there's a problem with the actual, how it picks up on the hub. So I'm gonna have to get this wheel off and get the speed sensor and have a look. Right, this is the speed sensor wire here. Basically, if we get a good look behind there, it's like a full ring that goes on the inside of the hub. I'm thinking there's possibly going to be a bit of a problem with how it picks up, so let's get it out and have a look. What I've done is I've got the car up on a ramp now, and I've got the hub uh, removed from it. This is the ABS sensor that you see here, this blue ring, and then on the back of the bearing, it looks at this this part of the bearing here which just looks like an oil seal but it's quite badly contaminated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a clean up and give it a brush up with a nail brush or something like that put it back together and try it because if it doesn't work it's going to need a new wheel bearing rather than a new ABS sensor so there we are we're all cleaned up there I don't know if you can see the little segments on that ring there that's what the ABS sensor picks up on so there's quite a bit of contamination on them they're now nice and clean. I've also cleaned up the, the hub where it goes into as well. That's all nice and clean. So we'll put this back together. I think this might be a pretty cheap fix. Okay, I got this back on the ramp again. Took it out for a drive, still the same. Now, just to explain what's going on here. This is the scope trace from the near side wheel speed sensor which is the good one so as you can see nice evenly spaced uh, triggers now if I get the other one up Maserati that one there now this is from the offside, as you can see, not so evenly spaced. So the wheel slowing down. That was the wheel being spun. You 
see the segments missing from it. So I think this is going to need a wheel bearing rather than an ABS sensor. So the ABS sensor is clearly working. It's starting off at a, vol a voltage of, so the baseline voltage is 500 millivolts or thereabouts. The, the, the voltage is hitting on the triggers one point just under 1.1 volts so let's have a look at the other one so what 500 millivolts thereabouts same starts at the same place one volts there they're about so the sensor itself is working it's just what it's seeing it doesn't like what it's seeing which is basically what it's seeing is the is the triggers coming off the back of that wheel bearing so this car even though it's got an ABS fault it doesn't need an ABS sensor it needs a front wheel bearing so we'll get on the case tomorrow and get one ordered <laughs>